excited for the word? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Could you please tell your neighbor right now? Bakit ang ganda mo ngayon? Bakit ang, bakit ang pogi mo? Bak- an- 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 anyari. Hallelujah. Praise God. <coughs> Come on. Answer him back. Come on. By faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. By faith. Everything is by faith. No? It's all by faith. Everybody said amen. Are you ready for the word of God today? Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, I would like us to read on 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 kasi gusto ko na, I know that you have your Bibles with you but I would like us to read on on the screen right now so that we will be on the same page I will be reading James 5:16 on two translations NLT and NIV so I would like you to look at the screen right now before we pray <coughs> can you can you show that James chapter 5 verse 16 <coughs> Hallelujah thank you Lord James chapter 5 verse 16 uh, NLT translation, it says here. Okay, it says here. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. NIV translation says, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Let's pray. Father, today we come to you and we honor you, Lord. We come to you with open hearts, Lord. We come to you, Lord, ready to receive. We come, Lord, with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord. Father, I pray that you just release a spirit of revelation, Lord. Understanding and wisdom, Lord. That we might be able to understand fully, Lord God, the riches that is in Christ Jesus. Oh God, today I pray that you just bless our spirits, Lord. Today, oh God, we know that by faith, Lord God, we will be revived, renewed, refreshed by the power of your Spirit, by the life-giving Spirit. Let your Word become alive today, Lord. As we look at the Logos, Lord, let it be a rhema, Lord God. A living Word, Lord. Father God, today we come to you, Lord. We come to you, Lord God, right now. Ready to receive, Lord. Ready to receive. Bless this day. Bless your people. Bless your word and bless your servant. Jesus, we honor you today. You are Lord of all. King of kings and Lord of all. And we thank you and we honor you today, Lord. Holy Spirit, be our teacher today. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And we all say... And we all say, Amen. can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise today? Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. Before you sit down, give somebody a high vibe and tell that person, God is good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We can all be seated in the presence of the Lord today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. By the way, this is the last day of our prayer, one week prayer and fasting uh, season. Everybody said amen. amen. Everybody said amen. amen. Praise God. Uh, ito pong uh, uh, second half of this year. Minabuti po natin na uh, tayo ay talagang uh, ma-energize muli sa pananalangin at pag-aayuno. Amen. Lahat po na nag enjoy na nag-aayuno magsabi ng amen. amen. Lahat ng pumayat magsabi ng amen. amen. Praise God. Para yung iba, hindi pa rin pumayat. So, kailangan ng extension. Hallelujah. Amen? Why do we do this kind of things? Because we believe that the most powerful force in the world is the power of prayer. Mukhang hindi ko kayo naniniwala doon. Hallelujah. We are a church that believes in the power of prayer. That's why we are a praying church. The most powerful force in the world is the power of prayer. Sino po naniniwala sa kapangyarihan ng panalangin? Magtaas na kamay. Come on, hallelujah. Amen! That's why we pray. That's why we have prayer requests. That's why we have prayer works. Sabi nga natin, when we work, we work. But when we pray, when we pray, we believe in the power of prayer. 
That's why this morning, I want to speak to you on a subject para po to wrap up ito pong ating prayer and fasting uh, season this halfway this year. I'm going to speak on the message entitled, Results Producing Prayer. Can I hear an amen? Results Producing Prayers. Now, siguro po, uh, we all agree here that uh, naniniwala tayo lahat dito na God answers prayer. Sino po naniniwala God answers prayer? Pero hindi po ba totoo in reality na hindi naman lahat ng panalangin nasasagot? Kung gano'n, ano yun, kahit yung ilang mga, ilang mga guru, pwedeng mag-pray, you know? Now, Lord, prayers are being answered. And maybe some of us here are even asking, Lord, uh, uh, narinig mo ba ako? Sino rin po rito yung minsan nararamdaman yun na, Lord, tumatagos pa sa langit yung prayer ko. Yung, sino po po minsan-minsan naka, nakaka, uh, nakakaranas na ngayon, Lord, Lord, uh, tapos uh, meron pang, Lord, bakit hanggang ngayon wala pang sagot sa prayer? Remember, yung mga disciples, nagpipray naman, pero yung mga prayer sila, napakahina. Tapos pag si Jesus, nakikita nila, pag nagpray si Jesus, very powerful, tapos may mga miracles. Pag, 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 pag si Jesus, nagpipray, uh, nakabukas ang langit. Pag, pag si Jesus ang nagpipray, talagang, that's why, that is why, yung mga disciples, talagang hindi, ho, hindi na ho sila nakatiis, sabi nila, Jesus, turuan mo ka kaming magpray. Bakit pag kami ang nagpipray, parang wala lang. Pero pag, pag ikaw ang nagpray, pray po ba yun nandyan pa? Ang langit, bukas na bukas. Kayo po ba yun nandyan pa? Kayo po ba yun nandyan pa? Sometimes we feel, Lord, gusto kong magpray na yung tawag dyan, results producing prayers. Gusto ko pag nagpray ako, may result. Sino gusto mag-pray ng mga may resulta yung prayer nila? Hallelujah. You know, nasa prayer and fasting season po tayo. I just want to encourage you na, you know, uh, don't stop praying. Keep on praying. Kaya lang, ngayong umaga ito, pag-uusapan natin, ano ba yung mga prayer na may resulta? Are you listening right now? Yung mga tinatawag nating mga powerful prayers. Effective prayers. Prayers that touch the heart of God. Yung panalangin na tinatabla ng puso ng Diyos. Prayers that catch the attention of God. Yung bang kahit super busy si Lord, yung talaga ang dami niya, ang dami, ang dami, ang dami niya ginagawa. Pero kapag ikaw ay nagpray, iiwanan na niya lahat tapos ikaw lang pakikinggan niya. Sino gusto ng klase ng ganong prayer? Halo yung yung bang pag, pag ito, pag ito anak ko na to, pag nagpray ito, talagang kailangan pakinggan ko to kasi effective siyang magpray. Sino gustong magpray ng ganun? Hallelujah. Sino gusto yung results producing prayers? Yung pag nagpray ka, it catches God's attention. God is in full attention when you pray. Prayer is the move, moves the hand of God. We are a praying church. Gusto ni Lord, pag nag-pray ka, may resulta. You see, we have to understand na walang di-pray siya kay Lord. Si Lord, He answers prayer. James 5.16 says, basahin natin ulit, sabi niyan, The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful Results. And we say amen to that. Amen. NIV translation says, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Sino gustong klase ng ganyang klase ng panalangin? Come on, hallelujah. Ang tawag nga dyan, ba't ka pa nagpipray kung wala namang sagot? Ba't ka pa nagpipray kung wala namang resulta? Pag nag-pray ka, siguraduhin mo, may result ang prayer mo. Come on! Come on! 
Amen. You know, in fact, the context of this verse, if you read further, sabi dyan, Elijah was like a man just like we are. May, meron siyang kahinaan, pero pag siya'y nag-pray, pinapakigas siya ng langit. Sabi dyan sa James 5, no? If you look, if you read further, tapos nung si Elijah nag-pray na uh, uh, dapat magkaroon ng ulan, umulan. Nung nag-pray si Elijah na hindi uulan, hindi umulan. Pero sabi ng Bible, si Elijah, kamukha lang natin. Mayroon doon siyang kahinaan, pero pag siya'y nag-pray, sumasagot ang langit. Can I hear an amen? Sino po rito yung gusto mag-pray ng effective prayers? Powerful prayers. Prayers that touch the heart of God. Prayers that catches God's attention. Prayers that moves the hand of God. I'm going to, I'm going to share to you three secrets that I, you know, that I have applied all these years in my walk with God. You know, that every time I pray, dito lang ako lagi tinadala ni Lord. Kapag nakikita ko na para bang Lord, bakit wala resulta sa prayer ko? The Holy Spirit always brings me back to these uh, principles in prayer that I want to share to you. Kung gusto mong magkaroon ng resulta sa mga prayers mo. Now, let me ask you again. No? Uh, kasi magiging walang kwenta itong preaching na ito kung hindi, tal- hindi ka seryoso. Sino rito yung gustong magkaroon ng resulta sa yung, yung kanilang mga prayers? Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three secrets lang ito. You know, they're not, they're not, in fact, they're not a secret. Kaya nga, keywords lang ang tawag ko dito. And I pray that you're able to catch it. To be able to pray effective, powerful prayers. Results producing prayers. Tell your neighbor right now, are you ready? Hallelujah. Come on, are you ready? Shara pa, kandara pa. Sino po rito yung mga naglagay na ng mga prayer request nila sa box. Come on, sino nag-pray na? Hallelujah. Sino rito yung nag expect na this year? Hallelujah. With expectancy na, na sasagutin ni Lord yung kanilang mga prayers nila. Come on, hallelujah. Shara pa. Parang konti lang, hallelujah. Tapos yan na kamay yung mga nag expect ng results. Come on, come on. Pumalakpa ka naman kung ikaw na naniniwala. Hallelujah. Okay. First secret or first keyword. Simple. Prayer starts with what I call relationship. This is so basic and foundational in results producing prayers. Prayer, effective prayer. That's why the prayer of a righteous person, you know the word righteous there, it is about a right relationship with God. Pag sinabing the prayer of a righteous person, it talks about relationship. Yung tama, yung relasyon mo sa Diyos. Can I hear an amen? Kasi pag tama ang relasyon mo sa Diyos, you can expect answer to your prayers. Everybody said amen. Amen! relationship every effective prayer and a powerful prayer starts with a relationship prayer is not a religious duty prayer is not just an obligation it is not a religious act that you do na kailangan kang magpray no prayer is a relationship Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on. Now, I pray that, lalo na po kayo na matagal na, you know, you're a believer. You're a Christ follower. No? I pray for the spirit of wisdom and revelation na makarating sa'yo, especially you've been, you've been a Christ follower all these years. You know, uh, I would like you to understand, I would like you to catch this. That prayer starts with a relationship. Relation, why? Because relationship inspires confidence. Did you get that? Relationship inspires confidence. Confidence. Kasi 
Ang unang-unang dapat maintindihan natin sa mga effective prayers, pag nag ka, dapat confident ka. Dapat sigurado ka. But where do you get that? Where do you get that confidence? Confidence comes from identity. Yun na gets yun. Hallelujah. It's a powerful word. I tell you, that's a powerful word. And in fact, sa mga darating pang panahon, I will be keep on hammering this powerful word. Now, kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Yung, kasi may mga prayers na, hindi ka sigurato. May mga prayers na, siguro Lord, baka sakali. At pag ganyan ang klase ng prayer mo, walang resu- you don't expect a result. Kaya wag kang magtaka kung walang resulta yung prayer mo kasi hindi ka sigurado eh. Relationship inspires confidence. Pag may relationship ka sa Diyos, may confidence ka. And guess what? Confidence comes from identity. Anong ibig sabihin ng identity? Kilala mo kung sino ka. Can I hear an amen? You are a child of God. Christ follower, are you hearing me? Christians, are you hearing me? You see, nag-graduate ka na, maybe before, nung wala ka pa kay Lord, you were praying beggar's prayer, which is okay lang yan. But the moment you, have, you become a child of God, you no longer pray beggar's prayer. Ano po, nung tayo ay bata pa, alala ko nung bata pa ako, talagang may mga ritual na ginagawa yung mga yung mga parents ko, yung narinig ko, yung, yung mga tori ng David, uh, pakaluluan mo kami. <laughs> Naalala niyo po yung mga prayer. Kaya ang ngayon yung mga lulu ko. Kasi yung prayer, pakaluluan mo kami. <laughs> Kayo po ba nandyan pa? Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo, kumukhang nangangalulu ba yan. <laughs> Kumusta na ka, brads? O hindi makakalulut. Makakalulut siya when you know your identity, hindi ka nakakalunos. Hallelujah. <laughs> parang, ano ba yan? Parang, parang kapampangan na Tagalog yun, eh, no? <laughs> hey, Amen! Prayer starts with a relationship. You, are, you have to understand that, that to be confident, Confidence comes from identity, knowing who you are in Christ. You are a child of God. You are a son. You are a daughter. Can I hear an amen? There was this teenage boy. Itong teenage boy na to went. He went to a very big bank. He went. Yeah, he went inside. Nilampasan niya yung security guard. Di sa binawalan ng security guard, nilampasan niya yung mga teller, nilampasan niya yung mga cashier, nilampasan niya yung manager. Tapos dire-diretso siya doon sa, doon sa uh, kwarto. Kumatok siya doon sa kwarto ng pinaka may-ari ng bangko. Talagang hindi siya sinabat. Kumatok siya at binuksan yung pinto. Napaka-tapang. Napaka-confident. Pagbukas ng pinto, ang sabi niya, Dad, What can I do for you, son? Relationship. Subukan mo pumasok sa bangko na wala kang relationship doon sa may-ari ng bangko. Sa security pa lang, sasabihin mo, hindi mo ba ako kilala? Hindi ka na kilala. <laughs> Sino ka ba? Can I hear an amen? And some of us are missing the point in prayer. Confidence comes from identity. Gusto ni Lord pag nagpray ka, confident ka. Gusto ni Lord pag lumahapit ka sa kanya, alam mo, kilala mo kung sino ka, anak kanya, tatay mo siya. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Gusto niya ma-realize mo na tatay mo siya. You're a son. You're a daughter. 
It took Jesus to die on the cross and rose from the dead para ma-secure yung inheritance natin, yung identity natin na makapagbalik loob tayo sa Kanya at maging anak ng Diyos. Can I hear an amen? Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord. Hallelujah. Results producing prayers starts with understanding who you are. You are not a beggar. Hindi ka pulubi. Anak ka ng Diyos. You know, by the way, your, your, your father happens to be a king. And guess what? Yung katabi mo, prinsesa yan. At prinsipe yan. Hallelujah. O, oh, tignan nyo. Tignan nyo yung itsura nyo. Hindi kayo naniniwala. Hallelujah. Kaya nga, Lord, I, ang pin, pinagpipray ko, yung Lord Spirit of Revelation, eh. alam nyo, eto yung dapat nating, uh, this coming, you know, season, kasi abundance is about, sa totoo lang, abundance is knowing our identity and knowing what we have and who we are in Christ. Can I hear an amen? Yung iba sa inyo, itong sinabi kong prinsipi, prinsipi ka, hindi sila naniniwala. Mukha pa rin pulubi yung iba sa inyo. Hallelujah. Ulitin natin, ulitin natin. Okay, para, para, para naman maintindihan niya. Okay, look at your neighbor right now, eyeball to eyeball. Sabi mo sa kanya, isa kang prinsipe, isa kang prinsesa. Come on. Hindi po yan, parang ano-ano lang yan. Kung naniniwala ka na ang Diyos ay tatay mo. Now, sige, ulit na. Sino naniniwala na dito ang Diyos, ang tatay nila? Magtaas na kamay. So, simple, sim, simple lang. Prinsipe ka, prinsesa siya. Okay, para naman ma-feel natin. Okay. Uh, sabi, banggitin mo yung pangalan mo, magpakilala ka, sabi mo sa kanya, Hi, I am Prince Anthony, I am Princess. Come on, pakilala mo, pakilala mo. Huh? Huh? Prince Cherry. Huh? No? Prince Russell. Ang pangalan mo? Prince Diego. Ba talaga? Talaga na... <laughs> Grabe. No? Princess Erica. Alam nyo, nung, nung teenager ako, gusto ko yung uh, si Daimos. Alam nyo si Daimos? Yung panahon nyo, yung si Princess er- Erica. Princess Erica. Alala ko yung, alala ko nung panahon ng Voltes 5, eh, no? yung uh, tapos si, no? paborito-paborito ko yun eh. Yung, sino ba yung karakter si Princess Erica? Si Richard. Oh, talaga. Princess Erica. Hindi sila na mag-meet-meet. Talagang nas- sakit ng loob ko pag hindi sila nag-meet-meet. Eh, no? Talaga. <laughs> Sino nakaka-relate doon? By the way, sino nakaka-relate doon? <laughs> Praise God, no? Talaga. You know, the, remember the story of the, uh, see, talking about identity, no? Uh, uh, alam niyo po yung kwento ng, uh, ng Prince and the Pauper? You know, just to make the long story short, the Prince and the Pauper, yung, yung, uh, this, there is this young uh, princess, a uh, prince, young prince, na, na gumawa ng experiment, na, kasi, may nakita siya na kahawig na kahawig niya, parang kakambal niya, na isang pulubi, no? Na-discover niya, meron, meron siyang kakamukha, kahawig na, na pulu- kaya lang pulubi siya, siya, siya prince. So, nag-gumawa siya ng experiment na magpalit kaya tayo ng role. No? Uh, ikaw muna yung maging prinsipe at ako yung maging pulubi. So, nagpalit ho sila, nagpalit sila ng damit, no? Tapos yung, yung pulubi na, na uh, pinalitan yung prinsipe, pumunta sa palasyo, talagang nanibago po yung pulubi. Talagang naka, naka, naka damit siya na prinsipe, pero naninibago siya. Naninibago siya sa pagkain, naninibago siya sa pagtrato sa kanya, naninibago siya sa pagrespeto sa kanya. Yung, hindi, siya, hindi siya mapakali. No? On the other hand, yung prinsipe na nagbihis uh, ng pulubi, talagang you know, yung, yung, uh, yung kanyang damit, mabaho, you know, talagang nandun siya sa bahay. Did you know na kahit na yung prinsipe ay nakadamit pulubi at mabaho yung, yung kanyang katawan, pero it did not change the fact. Hindi pa rin nagbago yung kanyang saloobin ang kanyang pag-iisip na isa siyang prinsipe. Yung pulubi na pinagdamit ng prinsipe, 
Nanibago siya. Pero yung prinsipe na pinagdamit ng pulubi, hindi nagbago yung nature niya na kahit na anong gawin niya, prinsipe pa rin siya. Because he knew his identity. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, hindi ka pulubi, prinsipe ka, prinsesa ka. Come on! Come on! Why am I saying this? Because it makes a lot of difference when you pray. Ibang manalangin ang pulubi, ibang manalangin ang prinsipe. Are you getting this right now? Yung pulubi nagmamakaawa, yung prinsipe. Alam niya yung kanyang inheritance. Alam niya yung pagkatao niya. Alam niya yung identity niya. You are a child of God. That's your identity. Everybody said amen. That's why, remember, yung mga disciples, Jesus, turuan mo ka kami mag-pray. Pati ka pag nag-pray, sumasagot ang langit. You know what Jesus said? This is how you should pray. Father. Father. That's how I pray. I pray that this will, I pray this, that this scripture will speak to you so powerfully because I'll be reading it on the Passion Translation. Look at this. Romans 8, 15 and 16. Let's read this translation right now. Open your, open your spiritual eyes right now. Be, uh, be ready to receive. Everybody say, I'm ready to receive. Come on. Hallelujah. Look at this. And you did not receive the spirit of what? Religious duty. Leading you back into the fear of never being, never being good enough. Dito po pumapasok yung kinantahon natin kanina. I am no longer a slave to fear. Ano yung fear na yan? It's not just it is fear of being accepted, fear of being rejected, fear of being insecure. Yan ang sinasabing fear dyan. I am a child of God. I am no longer a slave to fear. Sabi dyan, and you did not receive the spirit of slavery, of bondage, of religious duty, leading you back into the fear of never being good enough. Am I good enough? That's why Jesus died for you. But you have received the spirit of full Full? Come on. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, you are accepted. Hindi ka rejected. You are accepted. Hallelujah. Everybody said amen. Fear of never being good enough, but you have received the spirit of full acceptance and folding you, wow, look at this, into the, we are church. Hallelujah. We are family. Amen. Amen. That's your brother. That's your sister. Would you please tell your neighbor, you're my brother, you're my sister, hallelujah. We're family, amen. And folding you in the, into the family of God, verse 16, it says here, uh, okay, and you will, look at this, and you will never feel or faint. You're not an orphan anymore. For as he rises up within us, our spirits join him in saying the words, I like this tender affection. Beloved Father. Did you see that? Beloved Father. Tender affection. Next line, it says there. For the Holy Spirit makes God's fatherhood real to us as He whispers in our innermost being. You are God's beloved child. Beloved child. Narinig mo ba yung Holy Spirit na sinasabi na you are a child of God. Alam niyo, pag naitid niya dito, marirevolutionize yung prayer life mo. Hindi ka naman nanalangin na parang pulubi, mananalangin ka anak ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Everybody said, Amen. Sabi doon, I am no longer a slave to fear. I am a child 
of God. Gusto ko yung last, uh, yung may woo, woo, ano yun? <laughs> before that, before that. Yun, gusto ko yun. Pakilagay nga, sabi nung, I am surrounded, I love that part, by the arms of the Father. Sige, pa, pwede ba Pwede nga lagay yun. <laughs> I am surrounded. Sabi, ano kata? Okay, yeah, sige. I am surrounded. Sige, diretso, diretso. By the arms of the Father. I am surrounded by songs of deliverance. We've been, we've been liberated from our bondage. You are no longer a slave. Everybody say Amen. Where, ano, ano, ano nakalagay? Where, where what? Where the sons and daughters let us sing our freedom. I am a child of God. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Pray. Results producing prayers starts with a relationship with confidence with understanding your identity bigay na bigay po ako ngayon parang yun lang sa parang really are you sure sabi nga ng mga bata ngayon seriously mga bata may mga ganun ganun Are you joking me? Yung anak ko, ganyan ngayon. Yung isa napupulat yung mga ganyan. Seriously? Are you joking me? Uh, I pray na as you hear this word today, magkaroon ka ng aha moment. I pray that as you hear this word today, <gasps> Really? Anak ako nan... Okay. Kanyaman, makakilig. <laughs> ano pa kayo? Mga zombie? Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, ano nga nung yan eh. Tutumo yan. Ang bahala. <laughs> Kaya hanggang ngayon, makanyang kabi. You're a child of God. Kung alam mo lang yung, yung price. But this is how we know what real love is. Jesus Christ laid down His life for us. para maibalik yung relationship na yan. Na dati kaaway tayo ng Diyos, pero ngayon anak ka ng Diyos. Dahil sa ginawa ni Jesus para sa iyo. Hallelujah. You are now a child of God. And we say amen. So next time you pray, always starts. Always start with knowing who you are. Your identity. That you are going to a father. Na sinasabi natin, he is a good, good father. Sabi nung kata, he is a good, good father. That's who you are. And I am loved by you. That's who I am. Amen? I am a child of God. Everybody say, I am a child of God. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord. Hallelujah. Amen! Amen! I process. I'm a child of God. I'm a prince. I'm a princess. He's my daddy. He's my father. You know, I am. I am no longer a slave to fear. I'm no longer in bondage. Hallelujah. I'm not doing it as a religious duty. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? amen. The first word is relationship. Second key word is listening. 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 Okay, listen very carefully. Listening, listen very carefully. Okay. Dapat po nating maintindihan, sa panalangin, prayer is not a monologue. It is a dialogue. 
Prayer is not a monologue. It is a dialogue. Ang problema sa atin, kanong kanang kanon, tapos hindi, hindi mo hinihintay si Lord na mag-speak sa'yo. Nagiging powerful ang prayer pag narinig mo siya. Kaya marami mga prayers, hindi efektibo, hindi ano, kasi Lord, this, Lord, eto, 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 eto. Tapos, tapos aalis ka na. Hindi, hindi ka naghintay na magsalita yung daddy mo sa'yo. Can I hear an amen? Prayer is not a monologue. Huwag ka lang ikaw magsasalita. It is a dialogue. It is an interaction of two persons expressing their affection. Yun ang gusto ko. Ang prayer hindi lang paghingi. Ang prayer pagmamahal. Sa isang tatay na napakabuti. Ang prayer ay yung, Dad, mahal na mahal kita. Napakabuti mo. It is a love relationship. Kaya nga, sabi ng verse kanina, tender affection eh. Kaya sabi ng word kanina, beloved father. And then, sa, yung response, yung response naman natin, yung response naman ni Lord, maririnig mo sa, you are my beloved child. Amen. Kailangan marinig mo yun sa kanya. Amen. Hindi sa akin, kundi yung sa panahon, panahon na prayer mo, dapat marinig mo, mahal na mahal kita, anak. Hintayin mo siya. Because prayer is a love relationship. It is a love relationship. You know, it is an interaction of two persons expressing their affection. Si Lord, hindi Santa Claus. Si Lord, hindi siya... Anong tawag doon? Ay, yung pag nagganyo ka, tapos lalabas. Ano? Slot machine. He's a person. He's your dad. Can I hear an amen? Kaya ngayon, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, ano bang prayer yung tinatabla ng puso ng Diyos. Ano bang prayer yung natatouch si Lord? Ano yung prayer na, na pinapakinggan ni Lord na nagpapagalaw sa kanyang kamay? Na dapat mo maintindihan na ang prayer, it is a love relationship. It is give and take. Ito yung pag papahayag mo ng pagmamahal mo sa kanya. Pagkabilib mo sa kanya. Amen. Kaya nga, how do, you, how do you listen? By adoration, by worship. Because worship, pag nag-worship ka kasi, it prepares your heart to listen. And then when you listen, you read His word. You read His promises. That is why kasama sa, sa listening ay yung pagsamba at pagbabasa ng salita ng Diyos. You worship Him. Kasi you worship Him. Kasi piniprepare mo yung kaya mo siya sinasamba. Lord, I worship you. I love you. I honor you. And then when you do that, you wait for Him to, to speak to you. See, pakinggan niyo po ako. Listening empowers you. Do you hear that? Listening empowers you. Alam niyo kapag narinig mo siya, ibang klase Kasi pag narinig mo siya, you're able to listen. Pag nag-speak kasi si Lord sa'yo, gusto niya kasi maramdaman mo yung nararamdaman niya. God wants to reveal His heart, His passion, His thoughts, His will, His ways. Yan ang pakikinig. Pag narinig mo siya, maririnig mo yung, yung mga iniisip niya, yung puso niya, yung nararamdaman niya, yung pamamaraan niya, yung kalooban niya. At kapag narinig mo yan, by reading His Word and, and by God speaking to you, the next thing you know, pang nagpray ka, confident ka kasi hindi mo na pinagpipray yung gusto mo, pinagpipray mo yung gusto niya. Can I hear an amen? That's the power of listening. Can I hear an Amen. See, prayer is a relationship. Prayer is also listening. Kaya yung mga prayers natin walang resulta kasi hindi tayo nakikinig. Yeah. 
Yung bang pinagpipray mo, nakarinig ka kay Lord. Yung bang pinagpipray mo, kalooban ba ni Lord? By the way, makinig po kayo sa akin. Alam nyo ba na, yung plano mo, walang sinabi sa plano ng Diyos. Alam nyo ba na, mas malaki yung plano ng Diyos kaysa sa plano mo. Come on, hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Alam nyo ba na mas, mas perfect ang will ni Lord kaysa doon sa kalooban mo, sa gusto mo. Hallelujah. Mas matindi yung will ni Lord sa'yo. Can I hear an amen? Yan ang dahilan ko bakit yung mga uh, people like Elijah, Moses, David, pang nag-pray yan, sigurado sila na may sagot sa prayer. Kasi they are no longer pray, praying according to their own wishes. But they are praying because alam nila, ito yung gusto ni Lord, ito yung will ni Lord, ito yung puso ni Lord, ito yung iniisip ni Lord. Kama, palakpakan mo si Lord dyan. Hallelujah! Prayer is not a monologue. It is an interaction of two persons expressing their affection to one another. Kung alam mo lang yung damdamin ni Lord sa'yo, kung alam mo lang ang puso ni Lord sa'yo, kung alam mo lang ang mga plano niya sa'yo, ang kalooban niya sa'yo, ang mga iniisip niya, napakaganda sa'yo. Hallelujah. And you only get to understand that when you listen. Point number two pa lang tayo. Hallelujah. At uh, I think my... Ooh. Results producing prayers. Dad, I worship you. Dad, speak to me. What is your heart? What is your passion? What is your will? What are your thoughts? Turuan mo sa mga pamamaraan. And you can only do that by listening. Yan ang mga prayers na sinasagot. That's why we always say, you pray the promise, not the problem. All your promises are yes and amen. Sabi nga nung kanta, all your promises are yes and amen. Pero dapat marinig mo yun. Personally. And last but not the least, relationship, listening, faith. See, when you hear from Him, you start praying His will, praying His word, praying His promises. And when you start doing that, kapag nakarinig ka sa Kanya, you now start praying His will, praying His promises, praying His word. The next thing you know, it builds your faith. Kasi pag ang word niya, ang promises niya, ang kalooban niya, ang pray mo, it builds up your faith. Now, ito po ang isang non-negotiable sa prayer. Siguraduhin mo na kapag nag-pray ka, naniniwala ka. Alam nyo, uh, alam nyo naman, isa sa pinakapaborito kong verse, totoo ito, uh, Hebrews 11.6, no, talagang uh, inuulit-ulit ko to kasi talagang ito kasi ay requirement sa isang panalangin na sinasagot ni Lord. Kung gusto mong mag-pray na sasagutin ni Lord, non-negotiable yung faith. May mga prayers kasi na pag nag-pray sila, pagkatapos sila mag-pray, yung action sila, yung mga words na lumalabas sa bibig nila, parang, parang hindi nila pinaniwalaan yung pinag-pray nila. Alam nyo ang tawag dyan, iniinsulto mo ang Diyos. Siguraduin mo na pag nag-pray ka, pinaniniwalaan mo yung pinag-pray mo. Can I hear an amen? Hebrews 11.6 says, Without faith, it is, imp- it is impossible to please God. Impossible. To please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to Him must, see, very powerful word yan. Kung sumong lumapit sa Kanya, siguraduin mo muna na ikaw ay naniniwala. He must believe that God, meron kasing, meron tayo naniniwala, parang hindi siya naniniwala na God exists. Kailangan pa ng, pero tayo, 
Sabi dyan, you must believe that God exists. Ito yung gusto ko. Ano talaga? Result. Ano yan? O sa inyo, come on. And He what? Rewards those who sincerely, passionately, earnestly, diligently seek Him. Can I hear an amen? Ito po yung napatunayan ko sa verse na yan. Yung mga taong puspus ng pananampalataya, hindi sila titigil sa kakapanalangin. Yung mga taong na wala na ng faith, eh, no, abisang mag-pray, wala naman na. Pero alam na alam mo na yung tao na yan, full of faith, kasi sabi dyan, alam na alam mo na uma, naniniwala ka talagang, talaga ang tawag ganit pa so Jerry push, pray until something happens. You keep on pushing, you keep on praying, because alam mo, God will reward you. Can I hear a neighbor? Could you please tell your neighbor right now, pray until something happens. Come on, tell your neighbor. Come on, push, push, push. Everybody say, push, push, push. Yan ang grabe. Kasi naniniwala ka eh. Yung mga tao naniniwala, hindi titigil yan. Tawag dyan mga persistent prayers. You pray until something happens. A man full of faith will never stop praying. A man will declare, kaya nga, I, I love that song, yan ang pinakanta natin kayo, sabi nung, kaya nga sabi nung kanta, I am a child of God. Tapos, I am surrounded you know, by the arms of the Father. I am surrounded, thank you, by songs of deliverance. We've been liberated from our bondage. We're the sons and daughters. Let us sing our, everybody say freedom! freedom! Tapos pagkatapos sol, gusto ko yung meron pang, ooooooh. <laughs> Pero ito na, yung, ito na po mapasok yung faith. You split the sea. Yan ang faith. So I can walk right through it. My fears are drawn in perfect love. Ano pa yung kasunod? Sabi na, you rescued me so I can stand and sing. I am a child of God. You split the sea. Every time I sing that now, you see that, 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 that song calls for faith. You have to understand na yung context nun, you know, uh, Israel was in, was trapped behind them you know, were the enemies of, of Israel, Pharaoh, ready to kill them. In front of them was the Red Sea. They were trapped. But Moses stood uh, with, stood in faith. And God told Moses, Moses, it's time to take a step. Because if you took that step, hallelujah, I will part the Red Sea. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I hear an Amen. Can I hear an amen? You split the sea so I can walk right. Atawagjan faith. When he looks at you, he looks at your identity and he says, You're my son. You're my daughter. And guess what? Your father tells you, I have big plans for you, I have big dreams for you. 